You good? I leave? No, it's okay. You can stay. It always bothered me, to say the least. It's, well, now we know it's probably something to do with the archway, so right? Even so. When I had left Astagorn with my contingent of men, someone had sold us out when we had left. We were hunted for years by the Inquisitor. It's hard to imagine somebody within the Order to do it, but not many knew about our departure, Kyla. That sounds similar to how Arn's story went down. In what way? Well, he and his retinue were supposed to take the heir into uh, Araland for safety. Supposedly, there were supposed to be people meeting him at the border to welcome him. But instead, met with hostility. Mm hmm. It was a trap. He had to split his forces, knowing that half of them wouldn't return. He could probably give you better details if he were here, but... I'd spoken to your father briefly. I had entertained the thought to him that it always bothered me how well they move through all the three kingdoms so easily. The terrain, not easy, and how so easily some of the nobles' personal retinues folded. Granted, I understand the hammer of the Imperial was powerful, but going through the deserts of Ostagon, it shouldn't have been that easy. It is a treacherous terrain that kills men merely by the day in full plate trying to cross it. And if you make one mistake, your army will be decimated by the heat away from water. Even Gwyn, and it doesn't make sense how easily they move through. But they were seen moving through them. It's not like they used these archways, right? But even then, they would have to have secured the archways ahead of time. Yes. But their movements were so organized. Was the thing that bothered me so much. Hmm. Ugh. <sighs> Maybe it's the prattling of my mind being lost in sentimentality. Uh, I don't know. I thought they've, they've always been efficient, sure, but I mean... I mean, when you're invading... foreign land, you expect there to be a level of disorganization. <clears throat> but if what you're telling me is true, then they just acted like a well-oiled machine. Mm. There was resistance, but it was squashed so easily at points in time. Mm. I do know some nobles ended up changing sides through the process. I heard rumors of it as we traveled. <laughs> yeah, quite a that few um, 
people from Giwun did so. Oh. Here's the say, right? Twenty years past, yeah. But even so, I still think there are those who remember Kyla. Oh, there definitely are. We've seen a few of them show up in the last week or so, remember? <clears throat> mm. Even Olena. Those are the ones who are still burning to fight. Mm hmm. I just need that rally. And even cool. the young, Kyla. They hear the stories of the old days. Twenty years is still in a lifetime of many. Yeah. You know it's gotta be us, right? Gonna be what? Sorry. It's gonna be us. <clears throat> We're the ones that are gonna have to do this. Alan's got maybe six years left, five years behind a sword. Mm. Unified would be able to do this much better. But in six years is a long time, my friend. Long time. Mm. But it's the <clears throat> six years after that I'm worried about, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you and me both. No, even if we don't consider the Imperials. You mean just general? Uh, I had spoken to your father about it. Something that's been on my mind. The strange activities taking place in the lands. The movement of creatures lately have disturbed me. Things we have not seen since... Not any of us during our times, or in this age. That's true, we have been seeing a lot of strange shit. More so than usual, haven't we? Mm. There's someone knocking at the, the door. The sounds of... Oh, thank God. <sighs> you holding up a rope? Yeah. So, Sean. I promise to have a bout together. Hmm. I won't keep you. So, mm, to finish my thought. <clears throat> After that trip we took to that town recently, hearing how creatures from the mountain tops have started to climb down, those would never venture that far. Hmm. And from Sarah saying creatures of the Underdark are beginning to rise up. <clears throat> and then, as well, the unclothed ones venturing this far out, away from Gradia. Not Gradia, uh, Ewan. Mm. And then now the sayings of a Cyclops. The world of Azara is shifting, Kyla. I spoke to this with your father. It's shifting in a very dangerous direction, I fear. Hmm. 
If beasts and creatures of old continue to rise up, there's not many ways to combat them, because they have somehow been forgotten through the ages. You have to understand. <clears throat> One thing after another, isn't it? I suspect, if I'm honest, the way things have been escalating these last years since the incident that took place in Arald. That these migrations of beasts and creatures will only grow worse and more horrid things that sleep begin to rise up. Great. What I'm saying, Kylo, even if the war with the Imperials end, with us on the winning side, both sides may be greatly weakened from this new foe that may arrive. But this is merely theory. They will be unorganized if they're mere beasts, mind you. But the way the orcs are, the way they move about. <sighs> I've been too much time thinking. We'll have to deal with that when it all pops up, I suppose. If it pops not. Something I would say caution, for sure, my friend. Hey, we're gonna be in it together, so... <clears throat> uh, together through the horrids of the desert, I'll show you some of my favorite spots in Astagon when we land. I can't wait to see all the sand. Mmm, you're going to hate it. I don't but like actually, you'll be better off than all the soldiers. You're going to be better off than all the soldiers because we're going to be in plate moving through the desert. You might want to get some wraps for yourself as well when we arrive. That The dark colors are going to burn your skin. I'll hire some fan waivers to follow me around everywhere. <laughs> They'll pass out within the hours. <laughs> then I'll just cycle through them. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Go have fun. Uh, I'll try. Hopefully he doesn't hurt me too bad. My hero is very skilled, apparently. <laughs> Water skin. Thanks. Appreciate it. Faye says, lot change. Yeah, I mean, five years ago, six years ago, I, I wouldn't hear about any of this. I know shit moves quick and we're in different circles now, but... I mean, tree people, cyclopses, griffins, Cloven ones coming back, things in the deep, things we've seen underground, it's all just a lot of weird shit's happening. Over and over and over and over. Yeah. <clears throat> if it's not one thing, it's another thing. One thing creates something, which is, it creates two more things, and when you put one fire out, two more start, yeah. Such is our lot in life, I suppose.
How are you holding up with your lessons? Yeah. You like gambling? I think Elle's playing a game of Liar's Dice tonight with a few people. Might be interesting for you to show up. You there? Maybe, if I'm not busy. <clears throat> I don't know. It's kind of hard being around people right now, truthfully. Yeah. You go, I go. Alright. If I go, I'll get you. Then I'll teach you how to play Lies Dice. Yeah, you could probably handle it without having to speak. I go out. Be careful. Yeah, you too. <laughs> over and over and over and over. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> Take it easy. Oh my god, you killed him. No, not yet. Something different. Orcs, just outside the farm fields. Let's go. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. How did you tell the guards? They've already been appraised. Me and Tiberius were obviously walking to go about engaging a little spa. But we saw a handful of the guards are along the left side wall, firing crossbow bolts. Looks like they're within even closer vicinity than I think we've ever seen. They're getting fucking brazen. Are they up on the walls? The guards are. Tiberius sent me back to find you and let you know, let you be appraised. Alright. Let's go have a look. You, uh, stay out of trouble. Sure. I'm not so foolish to think that I can take on orc packs. While I might be quicker, I don't wish to be in a contest of strength. No, I wouldn't recommend it. I know my limitations, even if I am still quite <clears throat> novice in some degrees of being a fighter, or more so I lack experience. Which wall are they up on? But men. And, well, creatures I can't even begin to question, but not monsters of this kind yet. Uh, you fight one monster, you fight them all. Well, if they start growing tree branches, uh, do let me know. <laughs> Get your axe. Go to the gate. Which way? To the left? <laughs> over here. I don't... Tiberius is still over here. Sure you said you go Evening. If they have their own cavalry, they outrun the horses. So if they so far more, mm -hmm. at the least double uh, the even a more closer. Those men were getting overwhelmed pretty quickly. Gosman. What? <laughs> Are they <there> orcs? <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, I'm just cusping the edge of the farmland. Oh, Not torture oh, yourself, no. but. Uh, knowing it's a scouting party, they'll be back probably to the night to blow the cops. Great. I will send a word. Also, apparently are uh, now something called wolves that they're using as mounted cavalry. Those are the rumors we heard, yeah. Giant wolves. 
There's no longer room, sir. Uh, a small contingent uh, came back. Eight were sent back. Four made it. Uh, an Imperial had his complete plate, plate bit through. He was like a chew toy to the thing. A nice okay. kill. One of the Imperial riflemen shot it. And it just looked at him. And then dropped the Imperial in place. Mm-hmm. And walked off. They're faster than the horses. That's just my concern if we send cavalry. Either way, we should send a patrol through the woods to make sure no one else is going to be caught and there's no traps left behind for the farmers. Bear unit, 20 men. Understood? Send word to your sergeant. From the press. Yes, sir. You think they're going to come back? They just know. My guess is they're, they're, they're prying to see how close they can get to the city. The closer they can get, the more dangerous it gets. Yeah. It's concerned about. They're not sure how far out. No one really checked it through the survey. Right. Yeah. Take a survey of the scene. We're concerned about the crops. Yes, they're getting that close. They're close and unopposed. That's my worry. Some of them believe they were a scouting party, probably those who were going to attempt to deal with the iron mines, possibly, but... If the fields are taken out, food supplies will plummet. The overpopulated city as it is will go into a panic. I can't have that. Well... Well, they'll be coming from that way, surely. They wouldn't want to go through the vineyard, they have walls there. Do we even know entry points? Where they could sneak through besides the vineyard. Might be something to check. Not a bad plan. Especially if you're Uh, sending out patrols. mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll send word to one of the sergeants later, if they can give me anything, but I doubt right now they won't be applicable to anything I say. Um... Riflemen, could we get them on the walls up there? Right now we have crossbowmen who are manning them. We're able to deter the, the pack as they got closer. The imps won't help us? But the sooner the walls are completed... Well... Not saying we can't get them up. It looks very poor to put Imperial riflemen on the wall for a small skirmish. Well... If things hmm. escalate, for sure they, we, could, we could put them up. True, I'd at least have them on standby. If we're worried about these crops and about them coming back. You said you were worried about entry points, Kylo, yes? Something to think about, yeah. Well, this is a very base theory, but... On what? Back when the late Lord Morden used to come and visit me in regards them to some of the dealings of the cracks, them he attacking? spoke of they come back? regards of their ability to climb. They come and back, if anything create means to obviously it's that simple. get over things and obstacles this just like that. This thing's going to light up quick. The only thing we might have going for us is the rains. If I may ask, when's the last time we ever basically even delved into the cracks or even, even gotten a surveillance around them? We might be screwed. Uh, nothing Especially solid. Especially if I'm getting so close. <clears throat> might be smart to actually try to push them back a little bit. I've Make only sure always heard rumors, obviously, of siege engines being equipped to their trolls. And then I've a working forge, of course, so I can scarcely say what they're capable of making. We'd have to be Tyler, is the, the front door at the forge locked? Always. I understood, thank you. We could I can make a countermeasure if they attempt to poison the fields. 
It's a it's a it's a herbicide I, I have made in the past. There, Burning, there however, obviously there's no counter to fire the unless other than just quick action. I don't think they would care too much to poison. I think they would just burn it. If we'd even try that, the war trolls will just will break through. I would think so too, but given how many times I've had to cure basically all the sludge oh, they've attempted to, be, to poison our friends with, I wouldn't put it too far it. past them. True. Yeah. They're coming in for fire for the fields. It's almost as if dumping out an old cauldron over it. <sighs> no. To think that trying to show force. When we were with the uh, the carts for the iron mine, they didn't even bat an eye. <sighs> They're not even going to be scared if we attempt to push them back from here. You know what? Well, Here's that isn't until we get blown up. <clears throat> huh? By the huh? end of the day, a ballista's going up on that wall, the northeastern portion that'll cover this part of the farmstead. If they come down the same way. They're going to get bolts to the side of their chest, going straight through their torsos. Mm -hmm. Something. That's deterrent. But Here's we could point. also consider this, mm. is we could begin chopping some of the woods away. I'd clear the line of sight for the ballista. As well, noise traps could even be done for the patrols. The what? only question is... How pissy are they going to get? That is the peck line. And what part of it? Hmm. They have their own guards. Because what part of it's their po property and what part of it's Nodis property? From my understanding, that's already an argument. So touching something that they think is their land and clearing it. Oh, I see what you're Might have them up in arms. <sighs> Do you clear the forest? It might be good for the winery. I might be able to inquire with the hunters. I might forest, be able to provide to something like, uh, that might make even a, a big of a, a well, not bang, but sound yeah. enough to at least let everyone within, I don't know. So for basically 50 mile radius, basically, well, not miles, excuse me, meter radius, or basically the sound of the, their, of their mm. arrival. No, not at no. I just showed up. Because You're familiar obviously with how the flash powder, the noise flash powder makes. I could up, yeah, the, I could up the bounty. Oh, At least we'd know they're coming. But we can't do anything of the sort until we have the the other problem fixed. So, which other problem? The one with your father. I'm more concerned about right now. If they're sending in scouting yeah, parties to the fields, that right so they might come back in. An hour, twenty minutes later tonight, the well, next we day, we don't know. Boy's got a point, you know. Wrong. I agree with it. She'll yeah. take a mail. I mean, no I fully agree with it, but there's nothing we can move to it. make it happen. We can't order the soldiers to start oh. chopping right now. We can't. Have, we can talk to the trappers, maybe, and that's about it. <clears throat> that's an easier solution, lads. Yeah, I need to get a drink for breakfast. Lunch. I stopped pissing at bounties, yeah, but our kids. <laughs> Ten copper a head, five copper a head doesn't really matter. You'll start getting some of the lazy layabouts moving off their arses and going into the woods to hunt down Uruks at that point. You're not losing manpower, you're simply losing mercenaries if they get too bogged down. But mercenaries are smart enough not to do so. As for this, I don't have a clue why you built a wall around your city and not around your food, food source. Needs must. Not... The fields are ever expanding. Well, if you do decide to fell the trees, find you a good lumber to build yourself a little fence. Mm -hmm. It also means more of a perimeter to defend. Well, at the very ah, least, it could be used as an early warning. At the same time, given the fact yeah. that they've got... Uh, I don't know if you've already been made aware of this, lad, of what you know ahead of time. Um, those trolls in there have been mounted with siege weapons. Yeah, we heard. You want to slow them down as much as you fucking can. Got a few things. All right, Oshan, if you can get some hunters to set up uh, some of those flesh powder things there, we don't need to stun them. We just need to know that they're coming. That would be handy. Give us any moment of notice. Sound only. Yeah. Right. As for these trees, Honestly, no the phosphorus and all of Nautilus will hear them coming. <clears throat> 
Sounds like you might be sweet talking the Sarkozy's. <laughs> Lorelei might have a good idea. Let's move on up. I can't be the only one thinking this, right? No one actually thought of this today. Uh, well, I mean, she could. Hmm, since I asked very politely. Two things. One, are you going to check that out? Check what out? I'll owe you a favor. Ah. Where the orcs came good. from. We're sending patrols. Uh, I thought you would like that. That was something I should risk myself <laughs> for. Understood. Second thing, do you have a key to your home? I do, yes. Why? Someone needs to get let in to drop off a very important package. Of a baby. I'm not on babysitting duty, am I? No. No. Thank God. That's all. Mean children is. don't work out. By the way, if the guards need a way to signal people from farther outside of the walls without using whistles or horns, I have an idea. Noted. Hmm. Ah, oh, right. This is yours. Oh. Coming on our bases. Thanks. Mm. So you got yours made? Yep. Good. Don't tell the I... wolf. No, I won't. Fucking pighead. Well, if you want to look at the trees from a distance, you won't be able to tell how bad the woods are. <laughs> I was more looking at avenues of attack, truthfully. Well, this is probably the more easier line to come in through. If we look to the left, the hillsides could be used as natural terrain against them. Though the larger ones will be able to move down flawlessly. But they could set up archers on that side of the ridge easily. I think the right side is fine. We have the vineyard there, and I don't think they'd push that far. It's this open area here that I'm concerned about. Well... Based off what we heard, there is going to be police in a ballista right there. That can deal with the so, war trolls. War hmm. trolls and a good deterrent to some of them, maybe the Grey Orcs if they get close by. True, target their uh, leadership since that's a thing we need to worry about with Orcs now. Brush is very thick, though. It is. I would like to clear it, but you're right. I don't know how far the Sarkozy's believe their land extends to. I wouldn't want to. Are you good with them? The Sarkozy's? On positive terms. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, ah. no. No. Bad well, it Sour. seems. Ah, uh, Sour's putting huh. it lightly. That I would have given you know the thought of a controlled fire, but there's far too much here. It'd be impossible. Oh, no, definitely not. <sighs> we could trap the, the woods. The only reason I ask is someone mm. to butter them up who they're on good terms with might be a good idea. That way you can barter easier. The festival is tomorrow. That's what everyone's been talking about practically in town. Well, I'm sure they don't want orcs to come in and fuck up the vineyards as well, so that's an angle we could use. No. But also, do you want a p political nightmare on your hands? I am neck deep in political nightmares, my lady. Exactly. <laughs> also, ugh, my lady. One more step anyway. into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah. But... All I'm saying is... Kissing their ass a little bit might put you on slightly better terms. And also, you say you're trying to protect them. It's for their better habits, for, you know, their safety. Well, she makes a point. <sighs> you could I utilize their workforces from the, from the vineyard to help chop the trees down to a degree. You don't need too far. Don't need to go that, that deep also, well. That also ensures that the ones who are working on the walls don't have to come out here. <clears throat> True. <sighs> I fucking hate that guy, though. 
All right, I'll send a missive and try and organize something. It's clear they're interested in the fields, at least. We just don't know when or if they're going to attack. But assuming that they are is probably smarter. Yeah, looking at it, we are pretty fucking exposed. If we didn't have the fields to worry about, I'd say this would be plenty of visual sight to see. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, what, we have 10, 15 meters between here and the fields? It's not a big gap. We could just push the tree line back. Enough for the release of the archers and the riflemen to do what they need to do for this side, but we'll have to worry about then the other tree line over there as well. Along the coast. You think they'd push along the coast? Well, they've shown already that they've pushed through the fields, just off to our right, going sure, on the Sure, but if we're protecting the crops, then that's fine if they go down that way. They've got that huge stretch of land to cross before they can get here. My lord, if I may... They attacked Balerno mm. just the day before. I heard. So that should say that they have enough gumption and gall to try to attack the coast with no problem. Even one that's manned by soldiers. Stone walls. They could and always they try care. to swim. Never seen an orc swim, no? I don't know what good of swimmers they are, but it doesn't mean that they don't try to attack. The whole point right now is they're trying to prod the fences. If they can get that far, they're gonna try. Okay. That's a very good point. Sure. Um, well, we could at least push... Ideally, this tree line back, and hopefully that tree line back a good... Couple dozen meters, maybe. Fifty. Yeah. Seventy-five. That would help a lot. No. It may not be a bad idea to keep those trees for a little while, until the walls are done. Protect any workers, possibly. That's true. Provide them cover. We'd at least get the paperwork in. I assume there's going to be a lot of it. Hmm. Mm. Dare I ask? Group of Imperial Riders. I even want to ask. Hmm. Cataphrax, actually, if you can't basically that little t the little head feather of theirs. I've seen them once. Disgusting. Alright, well, we have some sort of plan. I'll send some missives. Oh, they're going around. Strange. And Maybe they drop the missive off. And they're riding all the way to Cassetta. Or it's a mm. patrol of some sort. We haven't authorized any Imperial still patrols. Stop. Then who did? <laughs> That's assuming it's a patrol. We've been specifically against them doing Imperial patrols. Perhaps something off uh, the books, it might be. I dare say what so. What can change in a few days? All right, well, we have some sort of plan of attack, eventually. Harry. Yes. Who owns that land, uh, kind of that way-ish, not including the vineyard? Is that ours or is that the no Pex? Thanks, Harry. I, I, I want to say ours. Yeah, we'll have to check. I know there's a dispute with what the Vapex think is of theirs. I swear, Sean, every time they want to have a spawn, right? Something. As far as I'm aware, they only have it the vineyard be itself. Right. So I assume the... Seems every time you and I try and it's fine. Have, I'll send some missives and see what we can is, figure out. Uh, anything I need to be <laughs> privy to? Um, Yeah, there was an orc scouting party out there, and we assume they're going to attack the fields eventually, so we're working on ways to defend it. <clears throat> Let your farmers know not to wander too far, far into the woods. My friend. 
All right. Take it easy. Don't wander in the woods, so I have to come chasing you would be preferred. Oh, don't worry, Tiberius. Once we're <laughs> done, I'm going for him next. And he, he knows it. <laughs> nice. I didn't know that was your type. Humorous. <laughs> Take care, Kylo. You as well, Harry. You as well, Sean. <clears throat> yeah, so just be extra careful. Kylo. <laughs> Tang's a fucking fool. I mean, Tang's a fool. You know, he came out here and hung me by my boot on my <laughs> door. Why? What did you do? He's he's lucky that none of the god none of the farmers called the gods on him. Is he mad? Why? What did why did he do that? Oh um Well I kind of took Venora out private times okay you've been wanting to do that for a while yes and uh well he said i had to tell people but it it was more of private time and we didn't want people butting in gosh <sighs> They like they treat her like she's a slave or something, Kyla. It's ridiculous. They're concerned about her. I don't want her to go. I'll get hurt. You gotta remember, people like her are uh, so... integral to their society. Yes, but at the same time, if you overcrowd somebody, they. Well, I know. You know. I know. And of course, he's more likely already did, even though I asked him not to, bringing up my business with her. The whole, uh, mercenaries. Mm. I told him that I would take care of it, wouldn't come back to them. She doesn't need to concern herself about it. Because she has enough on her plate. But I'm more than certain that he told her, which does not make me happy. What? Oh, God. Bad. Yeah, just, Don't just know. lead the Bad. way. Because whoever did, yeah. or whoever would have, they would have been left with less resources than the <sighs> How is she faster than me? <sighs> you can see now that Ro has the baby in his arms. too much of her, but she needs to go there. It's way too dangerous. Can we talk at your place? Sure. Find you it's later. best that I 
It's best that I don't go with you anyway. I'll find Basil and make sure she made it all right. Fastest G. Sarkozy has given me an ultimatum. I become his, his pawn, eat everything that's happening with the nobles at the keep to him. And when, when the Vapex invade, he will give me freedom and a cushy life. Or. Oh. I die. Everyone around me dies. Fiona dies. And I'm just another blood stain on the city of Nautis. So he knows about you and all the fucking nobles then, huh? It would seem like it, but I've been told I've been told that he most likely has nothing. And that he fears me. He probably was able to scheme something from Vizier, who he keeps under house arrest, basically. Slave, no, basically. And from what he's probably been able to gather from that, probably doesn't know about our plans for what we intend to do during the festival. Our plans being... Destroy another shipment that's supposed to be there that night and take a coffer worth the thousands of silver. <coughs> Fuck. And I really don't have a choice in this matter either way. I either I... die by the hands <clears throat> of the nobles up in the keep, or I die by Sarkozy. Sounds like you don't have a choice. No, I don't. <clears throat> but the man is scared of me, that's clear. He wouldn't be doing this if he thinks he could just come into Nodis and kill me outright. He's desperate. He's backed he into a corner and he's trying to lash out and grab anything he can. <clears throat> You work with him and get anything you can on him and bring it to me. Don't get yourself fucking killed, though. <clears throat> Try not to. But as of this moment, I'm cutting ties with everyone. He wants to go after all of you to get to me. I'm not going to let that happen. Fine. <clears throat> And I want every noble involved with this, as far too. As I can tell. If you haven't already put it on the list, all of them. That list keeps growing and growing. Then fucking keep riding, Ro. Trust me, I intend to. I think I told <clears> you they already want me to take out a couple of people at Cassetta now. Some merchants and smaller nobles there. And hold province over trade routes and slaves and all that. Whatever. Just... <sighs> I 
I'll do what I can. Yep. If you see Venora, give her this and her. While she stays in town, she's still a danger to them. I swear by the end of this, Sarkozy will, I will have his head and it will be sewn onto a pike. You need to slow your roll. I told you this weeks ago, and this is what's getting us into trouble. I have done my best to keep myself <clears throat> at a minimum. I have done my best to, to slow this process, but it is the people who want this done that keep speeding me up. I still need to go and find out what the fuck Zenik knows about the nobles. Get everything. I'm trying. I'm trying. I need people to stay out of trouble for like five fucking minutes. Am looking for Faye. <clears throat> Bring little home. I gotta handle some stuff. Hand on your shoulder. Need help. None at the moment. Motherfucker, lay low, I'm handling things. <laughs> I refuse.
se va torre. What did I miss? A very eventful day. <clears throat> Everyone appears to be looking in that direction. Well, between two different theory things I've heard, someone getting stabbed, uh, a bunch of guards in yellow running that way or around. Something about an orc attack. It's a... Uh, I never imagined this place would be so eventful, I guess. Oh, but... <laughs> Again. Out of the way! Move! <laughs> what the... The third time I've been shoved by a group of men today, what the fuck? Hmm. Is that related to the thievery, I wonder? I, I want to see what an orc looks like. Orcs? Oh. Uh, I hope not more. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm sure we will be in the safe hands of them. The way you say that is so, uh, you, you, you don't really believe that, do you? What gave it away? Mm -hmm. Either you're terrible at sarcasm or you wanted to. I guess you will never know. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta talk to Marco. Ah, my friend, hello. Afternoon, Casimir. It has been an eventful day. <laughs> yes, I heard orcs were attacking the city. And some theft and uh, a bunch of different shit. Oh, I saw the stabbing. I was on the balcony earlier and <laughs> there's a lot of yelling. Yeah, screeching. tell me about this stabbing while I sit down in this chair that is here. Of course. Well, from what I saw, it seemed like some poor lad down on his luck was trying to lob some poor lady. And, uh, apparently, she pulled a knife on him and he reacted poorly to that. Uh, I see. Reacted poorly as in he got his ass shanked? Uh, more like he shanked her. Oh. And where is he now? Uh, well, the, from what I saw, the guards picked him up. And she was rushed to the Imperial to be healed. Uh, let me guess, did this happen in Stabber's Alley? <laughs> of course. Yes. Well, actually, well, <clears throat> Stabber Alley 
covers two lanes. It happened in front of the uh, seamstress's shop. I see. Anyway, anything, anything interesting for me today? Uh, but when I'm not done, I, I have quite a few things for you. <clears throat> well, this one's about the silver that we, we got our hands on. Okay. Well, as you have seen, with the markings on it, there's still no... I still have no idea of a clear indicator of where it came from. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing a little bit of digging. And what I have found is it was going to Corano. To Corano. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I found some loose-lipped individuals. You tell me that the uh, mercs that were paid to guard this shipment uh, didn't know what they were guarding exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the, apparently there was another wagon that was being escorted to the border. Was? Mm. I don't know if it made it or not. I... Interesting. Since we only saw the one wagon. Okay, so we know they're going to Corano then. As whatever this is all linked to, this must be someone pretty important, maybe a noble I dare say of some so. kind. I feel like <clears throat> they're the only people who could uh, move this kind of... <clears throat> items secretly except for another organization like ours maybe mm. my own digging on the insignia signifies to me that it is a uh, lesser noble not someone too far up the chain but someone far up enough that they can get away with mm. uh, shipping silver out of the province <clears throat> mm, yes <laughs> nobles moving silver is a uh, quite worrying moving their assets out of the province doesn't look very good no Anything else? Mm. Yes, hold on. hold on. I wrote it in the scroll. <clears throat> I've been, been hearing whispers about the curator. Mm. I know that was something that interests you. What have you got? Oh, I got quite a bit. But even this was very difficult to get a hand a hold of. So I'm sorry if some of it seems incomplete and all over the place. Sure, I can make sense of it probably. Through the circles I've uh, looked through, the name itself doesn't enter any of them through normal back channels and, and whatnot. Which I find interesting, but that the name is still out there, even though th that. Hmm. Which I theorize, potentially, is whoever, whoever this curator is, uh, they have a higher economic status. Maybe even a noble, potentially, as well. <gasps> These fucking nobles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know there must there must not be a good apple in the bunch. Except they're for maybe fucking the, worse the than us. The <laughs> they're worse than we are, Casimir. At least they have the money to back up their crimes. We now have the money to back up our crimes. <laughs> anyway, th th that's true. Now <laughs> we only could come into some land and a title. Oh, if only. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but anyway, I suspect noble. Or either extremely well wealthy merchants. So, so, so while <clears throat> digging, I pulled more favors from my from my friends to see if we could get more information. 
at least it's not fair. I tried to get a description of the fellow we're looking for, but it keeps changing based off story to story. <clears throat> Strange. My my guess is that either this is multiple people or or one, one person who's very good at disguising themselves. Mm. Okay. But if I guessed it was a group of them, I would say more than three to four at most. Just based off the few descriptions I've gotten. <clears throat> Makes sense. One thing the curator seems to uh, like, at the very least, is they have a very fond love for the arts. Hmm. And, and when I mean fond, they're also very picky, too. Not just anything will satisfy them. <clears throat> Are we talking poetry or art, sculpting? Based off some of the things that have supposedly gone through their hands, it just seems to be a flight of fancy. Hmm. Whatever they find good at the time. Interesting. The word eccentric comes up when I've talked to some of the people. Strange. Other things they fancied are exotic ornaments and, and furnishings with unusual designs and patterns. So you can see what I mean when their tastes are over, all over the place. Hmm. <laughs> I've heard of sculptures made out of not the normal material. Hmm. Like braided fibers and very detailed voodoo dolls. Sort of that weird shit. It is strange for someone to be so eccentric and not to be flaunting it around, you know? Normally if someone is to fill their house with such arts, they would invite all of their other <laughs> fancy friends to show off and to flex and to, you know? But this person being... Mm, uh, I agree. Uh, hard to track down is mm, something. Anything else? Well, this one is one of the more weirder pieces I've heard they collect. Animal carcasses. Taxidermy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Taxidermy. And but these ones are made up into like tribal poses and, and all sorts of other sort of Weird stances from what I've heard. Not the normal kind of... <coughs> and, as you know, if taxidermy and some of these other weirder things they have coming into this person's collection, large sums of money are being transferred all around. Hmm. <clears throat> Might be something to jump on, if we get the chance. If we learn anything more about this guy. Potentially, but... This kind of stuff, the weird shit, you know, not the normal collected style type of things. Large sums of money and even more untrustworthy types loom around it. Mm. So if we go deeper into this route, we'll have to be very careful. Anyone could flip on us or alert that we're looking for them. I agree. It's interesting to know at least. Anything else? Yes. Yes, I do have a little bit more. <clears throat> One thing I have confirmed for certain is they do operate in, in this area. Hmm. If it wasn't obvious. I figured this If much. I had to guess, Cassetto would probably be the one place they might be able to set up. We're not as... We do have a few lads there, but we're not as influential there as we are here. Mm -hmm. Mm. And it makes sense with all the warehouses that can be uh, overlooked by the local guard with <clears throat> just paying and bribing. Mm. Place to store goods or such, to trade. Makes sense. Mm. 
if if this person spends the kind of money I think they do, not only could they pay to have these warehouses secured, but also pay the guard to overlook them. Hmm. I see. And someone with hidden wealth like this could easily accomplish whatever they want with all that space. Very true. Though, based on my my searches, they, as secretive as this person may be, they also could be potentially hiding in plain sight right under our noses as a normal everyday person. Which in and of itself is concerning, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Yes, it could be. Yes. <laughs> For all we know, it could be some high-up tavern owner pretending to be a tavern owner during the day, and at night, the real secret shit goes down. You're not the curator, are you? I mean, if I had that, that kind of money, I wouldn't be sitting here <laughs> talking to you. The perfect disguise, though. Okay. <laughs> Well, Casimir, <laughs> Casimir does uh, weigh a lot of cards, but not those kind of cards. <laughs> Anything else, or is this all? Mm. As I was saying, if they are pretending to be a normal person, they probably have a cushy job. Something that doesn't require a lot of oversight from others and allows them to do and move as they please. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. But for now, that's all I've managed to gather. And leads have... Other leads haven't revealed anything to me yet, but I'm still cert I'm still digging. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's good to know. This might... I will say this much. This was a quite a bit of information that I was able to get... So anything else, it might take a while. That's fine, I understand. No, this is good. It uh, at least points us in some sort of a direction. Yes. <sighs> well, hopefully our la the rest of our lads who are doing some digging for me will stay as careful as I told them to. Yes, we don't want to get on the wrong side of anyone. <clears throat> that is everything. Yes, that's unfor as much as I wish I could have given you something more concrete. That is all I have for you, my friend. That's fine. Thank you, Casimir. I must go. It is a fucking busy day today, let me tell you. <laughs> you stay safe. <laughs> Make sure you stay safe as well. Don't let the orcs <laughs> get you. I like to see them try. <laughs> Take care. You too, my friend. Easy lands. Mittens. So said mittens. You might want to check in on that. That's and I should mm. go and get this all polished up, I would say. Hmm? Why? Because you're all dusty and dirty from the stand. Oh wow, you're all really the pretty one.
All right, chat, I'm gonna take a very quick, uh, just gonna run to the bathroom and stuff. I'll be right back. <clears throat> oh, it definitely is, Austin. The Hobbit taxidermying people is talking to the curator. So Kyla asked his network, who the fuck are the cu 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 <sighs> curator is. Curator? Curator. Creator. C curator. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> curator. There we go. Curator. Potato. <laughs> I might plug my hands in as well. <clears throat> Hope it no Man, it's is literally every noble in this place like fucked. <laughs> Have we met a nice noble? Does Han count? No. Hello. My name is Lord Tinklebottom. My hobbies include uh, maintaining my garden, growing flowers, and sacrificing children. Chamberlain count? Motherfucking Chamberlain's part of the people that are trying to overthrow the, uh, the, the people that are, like, fucking up with Roe right now. Knows this? <laughs> She's not overtly evil, I suppose. That's a fucking low ball. <laughs> Knows this being the, 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 the nice noble is such a low fucking bar. <laughs> The Baroness. She's... she's pretty good. She's also... was in a coma. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <clears throat> Uh, 
a man. Well, if what we were told is true, is that both the brothers had something to do with Jildar's death. <laughs> so... And he isn't helping on. <clears throat> Lord Castillon. Good to see you. Everything okay? Quite all right. Thank you, my lord. Where? I guess that's why most of the population are like, Oh my god, you're not like the other nobles, are you? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. Hello? Oh, hello? I hate- I hate flash powder. I hate you... it. I really do. What happened? Oshan used flash powder in the first bout. The first bout. Hmm. <clears throat> God, I want to do something really fucked up right now, but you have no idea. <laughs> do, you wouldn't fuck with me right now, would you, my lord? You sound like you you've had a. You sound like you've had a pretty. <laughs> you've had a pretty tough. No, morning. it wasn't that bad. Oh really? It wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> hmm. I was just very annoyed that he used flash powder. Yeah, that's kind of a dick I move. I punched him in the face over and over again. Fair enough. It's not very noble. With my gauntlet. I... Oh, the nobility was out of the window after he did that to me. I... Hmm? What? Startle you? No. I'm just jesting. Hmm. So... Flash powder! Poof. No. Are we gonna have... <laughs> you should have seen how loud this one screamed. <clears throat> one. Oh. I will... In the court, I will fucking destroy you. Watch you cry in a corner, having a mortar of monkeys tear your fucking eyes out. If you want to continue that sentence. Something <laughs> wrong, my lord. You're scary. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't know. Hmm? Is there gonna be an increase of <coughs> god presence outside the? Um, we've yeah. we've sending out patrols to try and keep them at bay or at least their uh, scouting areas. We're also intending to cut the tree line back further so the arches on the walls can cover more. <clears throat> okay. Because the thing is, if I tell them to do that, they'll be more nervous and wanting to work. Some might refuse <clears throat> to work. That would be a nice surprise. That's what I'm concerned about. More guards means more security. Can't say no to that. You honestly believe they even trust guards at this point? Okay, do they trust orcs or guards? True. Believe me, stupid logic does not <clears throat> work with them. Hmm. Farmers, man. Farmers. <coughs> Flash powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was right what? in his face, too. <sighs> you, gonna, you gonna threaten him with monkeys, too? <clears throat> Monkey. 
You did say at the beginning that you'd come at <clears> you with, you with everything I had. Busy. That's on you. That Tell was on you. It was on you. Hmm? What? I don't know what you're talking about. To continue a little bit on the chat. You forget that yeah, I'm the one who basically <laughs> put that in the Muslim rotation amongst everyone. Sorry, I've decided I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I That's figured. No. Where are you going? Just, where am I, where are, are we going, going now? Stop, Where are we going now? What's happening? <laughs> what the, what, what? Just, yeah, right, come on. <gasps> My belt! You... you... <clears throat> With 11, thank God, O'Shawn had a decent pair of undergarments today, and he's not a, that embarrassed. I didn't keep up my pants. Briefs. Been... Huh. I didn't take you as that kind of guy. <laughs> There's a flash powder with your name on it next. Mark my words. <laughs> I, want, I want to do something you fucked up. Lord. Can it... <laughs> What are you gonna do? Can it not what are you gonna do? If you're gonna do it, it's not canon. Do it. Right, look at the, look at the Griffin. What? Look at the Griffin. Ready? It's not canon. This isn't uh, canon. Here, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? Look at the Griffin. Oh, oh what? Ready? You just you need a bit of backhand me. Let's go get my cringe the... compilation. You. Time. <laughs> Let's go. And we're time. back. <clears throat> If the uh, if other people come by asking asking for the weapons must want to place an order, do I take that too? Just to on... <clears throat> so how s smart is Tang? <sighs> are, are we? Am I? Am I about to be solving relationship problem right now? Is that what is going on? I'm more confused, <clears throat> really. Is this a thing that you and Tang should sort out, or like, what do we... Well... You best hope that none of the farmers actually <clears throat> went to the gods. Which I'm going to... inquire about that. <sighs> so Tang just made it his own problem. <clears throat> his fault for doing it out in the open. I asked him to keep it out of everybody else's business. I was handling it. <clears throat> and that technically you're handling it. It being the the whole mercenary thing. <clears throat> sure, yeah. And not too long after that, see him walking with her into a building. Doesn't take... It's pretty obvious. Is this one of those talks where I need to step away again? No, no, no. No, no, you're locked in here with me. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's not a displeasure at all. I already know Tiberius will love it, in a sense. <clears throat> oh, right. Oh. So... I tried to have a private time with her, mm -hmm. and I was really cool that I wasn't that I didn't tell anybody. Okay. But she's always being crammed by other people. You wanted to cram her yourself. And I'm sorry. What? <sighs> you left that wide open, my brother. You can't. It's... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I need more <clears throat> context here. Sorry. What? I'll throw my knife at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm better than you. <laughs> but why don't you fill ladies? Tiberius in like you filled Venora in? Mm, yes, I'm... Um, sorry? <laughs> Careful, my lord. You might, you might get too excited too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> don't be one and done. Come on, tell me, tell Pers me what, tell me what happened. What's going on?
He's trustworthy. Personal time? Trying to... <clears throat> mm -hmm. Just trying to relieve some pressure. Okay. <laughs> I bet you were. Uh, I'm trying to work. Why are we such gym bros? Because <laughs> <laughs> my lord, we're dressed in armor and we fight and kill things all day That's long. Yeah, the testosterone it smells like bulls in here. Just mm. yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Mm -hmm. Harry, like that. Harry wanted to have some private time with Venora. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so he, mm -hmm, he whisked mm -hmm. her away for a nice romantic evening. Um, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm, when they came okay. back, mm -hmm. they were frustrated with him for not came, telling yes, him. Yes. Well, after after <laughs> they came back to town, people were frustrated with him mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. not telling oh, them see, see. he was taking Venora away from them for the night. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And it would be mm -hmm. a shame because Tang held me up by my boot at my front door for all the <clears throat> farmers to see. I certainly hope none of the farmers went to the guards or anything. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's just trying to look after her. You'd want that. Yeah. <clears throat> Harry, as you were looked at by the boot, you swear in the background you can hear laughter and snickering. And you notice with a six, none of them went to the guards. <clears throat> you swear you could see coin anyways. being passed. <clears throat> passed around as well. My point is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tang mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. talking about things he shouldn't be. After I asked him not to. Do you know that for sure, or are you assuming? I'm going to confirm it, but I am... He, he pretty much already told me that if I don't, he will. What, do you have some sort of disease or something? Uh, something else. Did you tell him why you're A little bit more... in bed with those people? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> No, oh, is it what? What people? Huh? What? Venora. Uh, Not Venora. Yeah. The uh, it sounds uh, like there's a third party here. Was there a third? Mm. No, it's. <clears throat> it's not my place to say. There was a third man in there with you both. Dear lords, some self control, you two. But very wondrous. Anyways. I'm just trying to get to the point of mm -hmm. why he's even doing this. I I don't know. Truthfully, this this just kind of feels like a, a you and Tang thing to fix. On on like this is what I'm seeing here. People get in trouble for things because they keep telling others that they shouldn't be telling. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I pointed <clears throat> this out to him, but uh, I don't know if he cares. I, I don't know. You're one of the few that actually know him more. So I was trying to see what's going on in his head. I don't... I don't like, uh... We're, we're trying to fight a war against You orcs. know him more than I do. Harry, I... Mm -hmm. He's... I'm sure he is just a little rattled. I'm sure it's fine. And you don't think I'm going through pressures on the farm? I... Was the whole night to relieve pressure? Mm. It was. Did you relieve pressure? Sounds like he... Yes, did you? Kind of. D you didn't. Oh, that's why you're so... Anyways... <sighs> mm. 
my <clears throat> problem is is that he's telling people things I'm asking him not to tell people. That's my problem. <clears throat> then, uh, do you want me to sit down with him and remind him of this? He apparently was going to come to you and confirm my story. He hasn't talked to me about it yet. Yes. Instead, he decided to go straight to her. You don't know if he talked to her, though. I'm going to find out. Then when you I'm find out, confident he did. you act on that rather than the maybes, okay? You want to know how I'm more than confident he did? He's, this isn't the first time he's done this. <clears throat> He did it on a different matter that I don't want to get into. Okay, but why'd you tell him then? If you know he does this stuff, why'd you tell him to begin with? He was technically there. Mm. They asked for him as well. <laughs> why? Don't why? Know why? Why is everyone in this town getting themselves, in, themselves involved in shit that they really shouldn't? Yeah, why would I they? just want to know. I just want to know why people can't just keep their mouth shut. Right. That's my problem. Oh, I've been there. Don't worry, I've been there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a detriment minor has been triggered. <laughs> Anyways. Look, I don't know, man. If you want if he comes to me and talk about it, I'll remind him to keep his mouth quiet. Uh but just if it's not his business, he shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah, I get you. I'm on board. Now I'm probably gonna have to talk to her about it, which I didn't it's the last thing I wanted to get her involved with because she has enough to deal with. It's like people don't think of these things. Oh yeah. <laughs> Try it with the whole province. Mm. <laughs> it's fucked. I understand. I get your frustrations. I've, mm. I've had a... <laughs> I've dealt with this already. I don't want to deal with this again. Yeah. I'll do what I can. I'll reinforce it to him if he talks to me about it, and you know, try and squash it. Okay. Great. Now I'm just gonna have to talk to her. <clears throat> See what he told her. I wish you luck. I just don't understand it. Yeah. People are weird. It's like she's a... Literally what I told you before. It's like they treat her as a slave. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I know. They're really... She's really important to them, though. Everybody needs their space. That's what they don't understand. They're That's also... Trying to give her pretty much reliant on her. <clears throat> I mean, have you seen them try and do anything uh, without her? Uh, honestly, they were threatening to capture you and kill every one of us just to get her back, so... Yeah, they're fucking... They're not crazy. <laughs> they're fanatical. I mean... Correct. I was ridiculed for the farm I gave them. Yeah, I don't know. Elves, man. I haven't really been out much there recently anymore because of it. I just, yeah. Mm. Why do people gotta be so complicated? Yeah, I know. I feel you. Now, this orc problem. Poof. So, you said that you're gonna cut down trees. Hopefully. Oh, 
So the mercenary well, Dowie. You do have to understand we can't technically tell what the city guard can do right now at all. We can requ request. Um, but that's about it. <clears throat> but if we can move this tree line back a little bit, um, by the end of the day, there's going to be a ballista up on the wall as well. That should help with any war trolls. And if the once the walls are done, we'll have proper patrols up there, riflemen and uh, crossbowmen. <clears throat> so that should lend some sort of protection. We're doing our best. I know. I'm just going to figure out the whole deal with the farmers. <clears throat> Maybe don't tell them just yet. <sighs> Alright, but if they're not prepared to run for their <clears throat> life, if they attack... You know what, they're your farmers, whatever you think is best, whatever they need you're, to do. You're the lord, That's that's the thing. <laughs> <clears throat> Whatever you think is best. If Would you it... don't want me to tell them, I won't. Well, we need I'll someone to work the out. fields. That is the short of it. But if we want to keep them alive, so they need to be prepared to flee in case a bunch of orcs show up, I'd rather keep them alive, truthfully. What well, what can be done to create a sort of buffer? The walls are already somewhat made of stone. If we have them connected and have just like a gate of sorts in, in between the walkways, uh, it <clears throat> could be a slight delay, giving them a better chance to run. At this point, I don't think, no matter what you say, the nobility wouldn't even budge to that. They care more about getting those walls up, especially with <clears> a <throat> rumored cyclops roaming the rat lands. I'm not saying to make it out of stone. Make it out of wood. Uh, and orcs will just push through that, or trolls, or this cyclops, like it is a bead of grass. If we would assume that these orcs would um, probably focus on the fields themselves rather than the people. They're most likely going to come in, burn the fields, burn the crops, and leave. And I assume that you'll know what will happen if that happens. Which is why we're taking every measure we can to make sure it doesn't happen. But I'm telling you this to try and settle your mind that they're just going to come in just to kill farmers. <clears throat> okay. We're setting up uh, um, noise traps in the woods too. So if it gets triggered by them, then we should, your farmer should have a couple, like maybe a couple seconds of extra time, anything, right? <clears throat> so do you want me to tell them? If you can keep them in the fields, sure. Just let them know and lay it all out for them that we're doing everything we can to look after them and protect them. They need to work the fields, but I also don't want to just, you know, <clears throat> hang them out to dry. Tiberius, correct me if I'm wrong on this. Would it be better hearing it from me or from him? Well, to be honest... Either or, because if they hear it from him, they'll probably be more fearful of it, coming straight from a lord. It depends how bad their unrest is. If you were able to quell them with your own trust and the relationships you've gained with them, then that should be enough. But they were pushed out very quickly with the guards. They were able to succeed at that, so... <clears throat> Uh, 
I'll see what I can do then. At least you can say, is the reinsurance of the walls being able to cover them now while they're in the fields and have, have people keeping an eye on them should be a better reinsurance. They could probably even yell out for them to come back. <clears throat> I'll, I'll do what, my, what I I appreciate it, Harry. Of course. <sighs> All right. Perhaps an idea. Perhaps you can have uh, some of the hunters uh, trace their tracks, see where they were frequent more, put them around there. There's only a couple ways into that sort of area over the mountains. But yes, we're going to have uh, Lorelei, some of the other hunters, to set up traps where they think would be best. Once I can get a hold of them. <clears throat> and then work with Oshan. They're going to have um, ideally flash powder to go off. Less so to, to damage the orcs, more so to alert the farmers and the people in the walls. I would think at this point then it's probably be best to start stockpiling. Agreed. <clears throat> it's going to be difficult to be honest. The population has been growing <clears throat> by the way. More and more refugees keep pouring in. Supplies have kept the balance of things, of course, but stockpiling is going to be expensive. Yeah. Of all of it, most of it will probably be coming from export. We can try to do it from my end, but... I can't... I have workers to pay, so I can't just make nothing every day. I already did this for... the tavern when there could have been a possibility for a siege. Out of my own expense, I started stockpiling food. In case the siege did come, we would last longer. But that's something I can't just do on the daily now. <clears throat> yeah, just do what you can, we'll figure it out. Honestly, if we are going into a siege with the orcs, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't think we'll be starved out. If anything, we'll run out of money. Since we can import from the docks, we can bring food in from the water. But it would be costly. My point on that, if they do end up burning the fields, it would best have something to eat while rebuilding <clears throat> happens. Yeah. Uh, even rebuilding would take, what, a year to replenish a field that's been burned? Less. Less. Yes, yeah. um... Special water. Yep. Well... Oh. We'd have to be careful with that. We don't want to be too blatant with it. It would very much look peculiar to everyone if the field, which would normally take a year to regrow, suddenly spurted out flowers. I know. Thank you, Sarah. That's either... That's true. We could Good just try. thank a, a <laughs> god. I don't know. We'll do what we can. Stockpile what you can without, you know, going into too much debt or whatever, and we'll try and prevent it from well, happening at all. The problem isn't stockpiling. It's stockpiling where. Yeah. That's the problem. And I don't have that much space to be doing that. Let the orcs hold on to it. They'll keep it safe. Then they won't <laughs> burn the fields. Just hand them over. Yeah, why don't we just negotiate with them? We give them food, and they can go fight the Vipex. 
That <laughs> could you imagine uh, meat rolling up with a mercenary army of orcs? My God! <laughs> Especially now that they have wargs now that are faster uh, than horses. Uh, Don't even remind me of those. Yeah, I need to figure mm. out a counter for that, since our cavalry units will not sustain against them. <clears throat> Traps more than anything will be your best ally against them, I would say. Traps lead him into traps. Even if we get into like a standing fight with them, our horses don't bite or, or claw. <clears throat> and standard. You need numbers. Yeah. Standard hole traps aren't going to work either, more than likely. True. No, They're not going to break their legs. Them. Yeah. Spike them. Tripwire or not something. They just jump right over <clears> it. <throat> They would have to know what's coming. Oh. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I would recommend the front gate to the cities. We may want to start considering putting an actual gate to it. <clears throat> and possibly some spikes along the walls. Better get to it. Yeah. Gotta make that gate, Kyla. Uh, fuck me, I'll, yeah, I'll just well, handle that, along with literally well, everything mean, else in this I, goddamn I, fucking well, province, I mean, Tiberius. Lord, technically, we don't have to do anything, my lord, because you know what? We can't even <clears throat> do anything anymore. The gods don't listen to us anymore. So. <sighs> Alright, well, yeah. Good talk. Let's, uh... Yay, team. Mm. Everything's fucked and we have no way out. On three. One, two, three. Everything's fucked. Alright, let's go. I hate it here. Yeah. I wanna go back to Astagon. Good fucking